What's going on guys? John back here with a new game, Madden 23. Um and today we're going to do a rebuild of a team you just saw on that Choose screen the actually. To start your franchise. Um the New England Patriots. Um they're definitely not a great team in real life. Um so we're going to do a rebuild where I play every single game. Continue we'll see how that goes. Um, Use the so yeah, we're gonna start to at week ten. All settings, force uh, play to a every game owner. they've played since then. I believe week thirteen just, well, all but uh, Monday Night Football has happened, and the Patriots have not won a game since they were two and seven. So I'll be right back once I do all that, and I'll see you then. All right, so this league, um, we'll start on all Madden simulation. Uh, we'll go with eight minute quarters for now. We'll see how that works. Um, everything I will be manually doing except for uh, managing practice reps because I'm not great with that. So uh, we'll see how the game goes, see how the game plays. I can always adjust the sliders if it's too easy or too hard. But those should be all the settings I'm going to go with for now. All right, so we're here at week, uh, what is this, 14 against the Steelers. Um, this is a Thursday night football game in real life. So we'll have to play at Thursday night football. That's why it says short week. Um, I don't have a file for the 2020, what would it be, three draft class with Caleb Williams and you know Drake May and all those guys. I guess it'd be 2024 draft class. So we're going to do auto-generated rookies. So Spencer Rudolph looks to be the number one pick right now. Um, we'll see if we can tank worse than the Panthers to get that pick. But really quick, we'll quickly look through... Um, oh, that's a very high-scoring affair for Week 13 against the Chargers. Um, the final score of that game in real life was 6-0 Chargers winning. So that was fun. But let's quickly look at the team before hopping into this Steelers game, which has a very good defense. All right, we're just going to do best lineup. In real life, Bailey Zappi starting, so we'll we'll do that. But currently, our offensive line isn't bad. We got a bunch of star dev. Um, Mike Onwenu, pretty good. Trent Brown, so our tackles are very good, which is going to be good for Zeke and Ramondre Stevenson in the backfield. Mac Jones will probably keep him. We'll see how I feel about him at the end of the season. Maybe we start him later in the season again. Um, tight ends, Hunter Henry, Mike Jasicki, they're both pretty good, really expensive, and I believe they're both free agents at the end of the year, so we'll see if we bring either of them back. And then receivers, Devontae Parker, Juju Smith-Schuster, Demario Douglas, Jalen Rager, Tyquan Thornton, and then is this Matthew Slater? I think he's a special teams guy. Yeah, Matthew Slater. Um, maybe he gets offensive reps. Probably not. Maybe if we want to have fun on defense. Um, let's see. Who do we got here? Uh, Marley Mapu. I feel like. Could I move him to linebacker? Because we, as you can see, with our scheme we have right now, we do not have very good linebackers. So I wonder if I move him to middle linebacker instead of Wilson. If that would be better. So let's move him to middle linebacker. See what his overall is. If it drops too much. We'll move him back. I can always just use um, Kyle Duggar as a user because I like using those fast safeties. Yeah, Mapu's a 69. Uh, I could still start. What's his speed? Nah, he's, he's he's a pretty small one. We'll just we'll just have Duggar as a user linebacker in the middle. Um, so we'll just have three strong safeties. Um. But yeah, Kyle Duggar should be my sub linebacker. Yeah, so Duggar will be my sub linebacker. He'll be the in that in those linebacker sets. Uh, Mapu, I could put in the slot, and I will because I want to. I want to get Mar Mapu some reps because he could be long term guy. Slot wide receiver is right now Mark Mike Jasicki. I think I'm gonna make that Demario Douglas. Because I like Douglas a lot more. And then I, I have played as this, the Patriots before. And Ramondre Stevenson is a better running back. So even though he's an overall less than Zeke, I am going to start him. Zeke will still come in for the third down reps. And when Stevenson gets tired, obviously. 
So let's quickly do this th uh, short week, and then we'll hop right into the game after doing our training. So David Andrews, we don't have a lot of recovering time, so all of our players can be really tired, and we don't want to commit turnovers. I doubt that's going to happen either way. We'll do weekly strategy, upgrade players, and then see how it goes. So I'm not really afraid of Kenny Pickett, but if Najee's out, I should not do running the ball. I'll do I'll do defending short pass, and then as a defensive strategy, I'm just going to do run outside. Hope that I can get some break off rushes. Now, normally I will do training for these guys, but for this game, I'm not going to. So we're just going to skip and simulate training. Weekly goal of one interception. Sure, we can intercept Kenny Pickett. That would be great. So let's just quickly look through. Please, no injuries. That would be not great. No injuries on defense or special teams. And please. All right. No injuries on offense either. So now we'll quickly go through player upgrades. And then we will hop into the game. Uh, I might just... We'll upgrade Bailey Zappi since I'm going to have to be using him. Or he'll be the starting quarterback. We'll go field general here and then we'll just uh, upgrade all the other ones. Auto upgraded. Alright, so... Pittsburgh Steelers. If you look, they have an 85 overall defense. That'll be fun. Um... Yeah, we're going to get smoked. Let's do some fun uniforms, at least. Do you have any, like, custom or old away unis that look cool? Um, we'll, use, we'll use the whiteout jerseys from 2019 Color Rush. So it's Patriots Steelers. First game of my playthrough of the rebuild. Um, Akrasher Stadium. Well, we'll see how this goes. It's Thursday Night Football. I'm probably not even going to watch this in real life. That's how bad this game is going to be. We'll see how 8-minute quarters do. If I start, if it starts getting too high scoring, we can always adjust stuff. Ty Montgomery. Uh, I believe he played for the Packers, so that's the only reason I remember him. We'll see how he returns it. Okay, 24 yard line. That's not bad. So Bailey Zappi time. Bailey Zappi if Zappi starts to struggle, I can always pull up for Mac Jones again. Very excited to Mac Jones again. We'll start with a Ramondre Stevenson rush to the outside. And Stevenson breaks free. Stevenson going to run people over. And a 25 yard rush to start the game. I'm going to do a lot of rushing. You're going to see a lot of running ball, especially with Bailey Zappi as my quarterback. Um, we've got a lot of multiple tight end sets. That's what the Patriots playbook's all about. So you're going to see a lot of that. We're not going to be But if you look at this team, obviously we're just missing a lot of good players. Matthew Judon, our best defensive player, probably the entire team out. Christian Gonzalez is out. I don't like this play. I'm going to put Hunter and out route. Hopefully he gets over. Even the great teams. Zappy. Okay. Good completion for Bailey Zappy. Probably not going to keep throwing it with you, but we'll see how you do. We'll do another Louis PA switch gig. Maybe Douglas on that wheel will get open. Nope. Oh, maybe? Nope. TJ Watt was in my face. I couldn't really do a ton there. So Bryce Barrington. I'm not great. I guess every team would say that, Charles, but that opportunity missed there. What they were trying to tell us is they believe it's a matchup game at that point. And they like some matchups that they had. Thought they could exploit them. Unable to do so on that play. Well, I failed the punting too, so we'll see if I can stop Kenny Pickett. Now, I know they're prop. Oh, I, 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 just a I need to check injury report. Medical center. Oh, so Najee Harris is out. Along with Pat Fryermuth, he's actually out for a while. He actually came back in real life. Cole Holcomb, no idea who that is. And then Corey Trice. And then obviously we're missing Riley Reef, Calvin Anderson, Matthew Judon, whoever, Daniel Ikuale. 
uh, Kendrick Bourne, Christian Gonzalez, Marcus Jones, Raekwon McMillan. So we're missing a ton. Charles from Pitt. And you and I both know that any so, win is a Kenny good Pickett. win. We'll and that's what they did last week. Stop but there's him. also plenty for him to work on in his game. Okay, and I go too Two early. And George yeah, Pickens. So just like the Patriots and my first drive from Andre Stevenson's rush, they start with a 25 yard rush. But normally, when I have two linebackers on the field, you'll see. Oh, okay, I got it. No. Alright, so that's back to back. Massive plays. Um, okay. 27, I think, yards. So let's not give up another play like that. And I over. So, it looks like we are going to get torched this entire game. Okay, Josh Uche. I know he's a free agent in real life, and I don't, I doubt he'll want to come back and play for the Patriots again next year. But it would be nice to have a younger linebacker out there to play. So they're behind schedule um, down in okay. distance. So I mean, they were hoping to get here's make a man or two miss, of, but that one no close quick. It, Darnell Washington. Washington. Um, nice drafted he's a rookie. And he's, he's pretty good, I'd say. Alright, I don't like this. Man coverage, we'll see if it works. It'll probably go to Pickens on like an out route. Pick it back to throw. Oh, they're gonna test this. Yeah. Well, that's a great play. Really, they just threw a, threw a fade or a streak, go route, whatever you want to call it. And I think Mark, no, that's Jonathan Jones. Jonathan Jones just got completely torched. Alright, Bailey Zappi coming back out. We're going to start probably a lot of these plays with runs with the monitor to someone as immediately TJ Watt got to it. So, Monitor didn't have a lot of game. So, I'm going to run this dagger. Because to me, just about anyone can win this whole thing out of this grouping we currently have. And by the time we get there, it may look entirely different. So Juju is probably going to be one of my bigger targets. Since, I mean, I don't think any of these guys have some. Devontae Parker, I know I've sent him a lot of streams in other games, and he hasn't really done a lot. There's Demario Douglas, though. Look, maybe I should start targeting him once he's a young guy. With him. Do well. I like that defense, so we'll try, we'll try a pass. I'm going to haunt him. Please don't take that off. Oh. Alright, that's a bad throw. I, maybe he could have gone to Zeke. Zeke was on the outside of that route. Um, Alright, so I'm relying on Stevenson to use his power. And barely. Barely, I mean barely gets it. Um, okay. So, no one covering Hunter Henry is going to see him on the street. Fire it instantly and catch it. Okay. See if um, TJ Watt will dominate our outside guys again. He will, but Stevenson gets around it. And three yards. We might just take it again with first if we can't do a lot. Mario Douglas, maybe? I think it, I hope his name's Mario. That would suck if it wasn't. But I'm going to fire it to it. Douglas. Great catch. We're in 81. We're like a Randy Moss. Alright, so I think this is where we're just going to try not on TJ Watt's set. We're going to switch to the other side. Just hand it off. Stevenson, Stevenson gets. Fighting, buddy. I'm gonna, I'm gonna send Parker on a zig. And Zappy, I hope he you burns throw. him, and he does. Touchdown. There's our first touchdown, touchdown of the uh, Patriots rebuild. Devontae Parker. The touchdown there. And the Playing Patriots the violin. Bailey Zappi. Interesting. This ball game. So now it's on to Chad Ryland. Well, there you go, Charles. His first touchdown. Then we will be tied. Well, let's just go back to his rookie year. 
because he's able to get his feet wet, right? Get a little bit of experience. Now I think here in year two, the game will slow down for him. And we'll see if he's officially at 21. 750 yards, that's back not out now terrible. The the I guess I don't know what people are I don't care if he's doing. 1,500 by this point, he probably. Reach that mark. No, I like how you phrased it, partner. He has me, he is I don't think he's even distance. targeted. If he stays on this pace, he's got a shot at it. Oh, but he needs nope, a big zone coverage. There, right? He got sure it. It. Who is that? Allen Robinson? That's a name I did not expect to hear. Alright, empty backfield. I'm going to pass to Mitt because nine times out of ten is a pass. And they go to Jalen Warren for a three-yard check down. Phillips is not someone I'm keeping. In fact, he is a free agent next year. I might cut him. Though, if we're doing it realistically, they probably keep him just for... Oh, thank God, Adrian Phillips. I mean, he's like a 70-something overall right now. He's like 36. But, I mean, long-time guy. Maybe I keep him. And he's going to be on the team, so I might as well. He's not too expensive. Oh, please don't. Okay. This, this game looks not like it would be for life. Just no... No big plays. It's just bad defense, bad... Or actually, not bad defense. It was only a real punt once in the I'm surprised I'm actually, I've actually scored on Steelers defense so far. Ty Montgomery, it's I don't know if I'll keep him. I mean, probably not. He's like a 68 overall. Yeah, one too much money. Great, great stat line to watch it. One catch, one touchdown. I guess that's what matters, right? Now, this play, I might try getting Douglas. Nope. Okay. Oh. Patrick Peterson washed. The Cardinals were like Patrick Peterson. I guess it actually was a legend for the Cardinals. Vikings. They were the Vikings last year. As the Mondre. Oh, we got a play. Is it Devontae Parker? It was probably Devontae Parker. Come on, Devontae. No, Cole Strange. <sighs> so that time they I mean, I got thought, the left guard. Thought my own line actually did something. But no. Honestly, I'm just gonna pass Bugsy. I get sacked. You might sacked. Bit of extra help by the Douglas. To ride him out. Oh my gosh, Mario Douglas. What? What has gotten into you? I mean, I kind of, kind of want to tank so I can get the number one pick, but I'm not. I, I want to win this game. Just to be fun. But give credit to his players as well. Bubble they screen, the Juju. Oh, Juju's got no chance. I guess, I guess Juju would be better if you don't hold on to the trigger. I was holding on to the trigger the entire time trying to get down to but... All right, so yeah, if you guys haven't figured it out already, I'm not great at, like, reading defenses or anything. I can, I, I'm pretty good at playing the game, I'd say, but I'm not, like, perfect. I'm not even close to that. Defense. Good run by Stevenson, getting us another first. Um, maybe, maybe go another, oh, DJ Watt covered DeMario Douglas. Please. No, oh, that's a bad throw. I'm in field goal range, but I don't want to throw a pick, so we'll just run it with Stevenson again. See if he can get a big run. Break off another one. Three yards. Okay, so I think, I think we're still taking an end zone shot here. And I'll put Douglas on a six. Douglas can torch. I think that's Pat Pete. Zappy on third down. No, not decided. Just need on Douglas. Okay, Chad Ryland for the extra point, or for the field goal, not extra point. Mac Jones the holder, that's fine. Good job, Chad, you did it. So, we take the lead. I don't know, I'll have to do some scouting. That's another thing I'm not good at. I'm very bad at scouting uh, players in drafts. So, nine times out of ten, unless it's like I've fully scouted him and I know what his talent is, I'm going to think they're better than they actually are. That is a good tackle by Jennings. I don't know who this Jennings guy is, but he has like three special tackles already.
And listen, these Thursday night games, they're right. tough on the body. You just played on Sunday, 72 All hours right. later. Hey, it's game day again. Jalen Warren, another Thursday night game in September. I, much I'm more glad they're not letting it than a Thursday night in December. No? Well, there's no doubt about it. You mentioned how tough it is on the body. Mark Kyle, let's get a pick. You're already tired, fatigued, right? Trying to battle for playoff spots. And here you have the quick turn. Yeah, they get a third. I don't know why. If you take care of business, I couldn't tell. I'm not graded. So I, I like to user that guy over by every single play. Yep, I knew they were going to. Whenever you have three guys lined up on the side, usually it's a tight end. They send them on an out route and it goes right to the tight end. Every time. But in that case, it was George Pickens getting, I think, his first target of the game. Oh, here's Jalen Warren. Oh, no. I got Oh, no. Oh, my. Aaron Johnson. Wow. I don't, yeah, yeah kinda, what they said. Well, I don't think that know? was Deontay's fault. He's got better. Got to get more help. Obviously one that should have been caught. they got to find a way to bring those, those two elements together so they can make some progress in this one. And he'll take it across the 50 and into New England territory. I just adjusted the game volume. I'm hoping it wasn't too loud the first part of the game. I, I forgot to listen back to it before recording, so we'll, we'll see how it looks. As that's picked, looking for Deontay Jackson, Deontay Johnson, geez, and JC Jackson. Old Patriot got signed to the Chargers on that massive deal, and they traded for him at the trade deadline, and he has still not done anything in real life. So I think he's been hurt, but Zappy, nope. Um, okay, Hunter Henry's uncovered. I'm just gonna do the same thing I did last time. Streak him, fire it to him immediately. He'll not a lot of the time the tight end will catch that. That's kind of what they're there for. Sure-handed. Two-minute warning. I'm gonna pass it a couple more times. Maybe I start running the clock out. Oh, Ben, we're sacked. Okay. Zappy hasn't been looking terrible though, which makes me think I need to adjust the sliders. I might play, I might adjust the sliders and then play a game again because normally I need to adjust sliders to make it more fair. But Hunter Henry makes a great catch because yeah, obviously Bailey Zappy's a very low overall, I think 64, 65 playing with morale. But I I don't think he should be playing this good. Okay, we're gonna test him. Oh, I forgot Devontae Parker don't have speed. Well, that was a bad idea, especially seeing that I forgot it was fourth down. Jalen Mills now playing at linebacker, too. Does that mean we're that fatigued right now? Oh, and Allen Robinson playing like Prime Megatron. Why why you break a tackle from an oncoming safety? Who was that safety? Jabril Peppers? I think that's who it is. The guy who played for the... And Pickens gets the, almost gets the first, did not. Okay, Jalen Mills playing back in the middle linebacker. All right, I need to hope that Pickett throws something stupid again. So I am going to be in big trouble if he doesn't. I should have got that. Threw it to a sliding Allen Robinson. They're down to their final timeout. Empty backfield and pass committing. Look out for that Kenny or, or George Pickens out route. Nope. What are you doing, Kenny? I guess they were just taking that to what keep me from getting a playoff on the field goal or extra point, I mean. Or after the field goal, like on a kickoff. Let's block this. Nope. Chris Boswell makes it. All right. So we go into halftime. It is 10 to 10. We'll just skip halftime. Uh. I still want to run the ball. So we're going to go run outside with Ramondre again. And once again, I guess probably their short pass. Though they haven't running it inside on me pretty effectively. We'll do we'll do run inside. Or not run inside, short pass. So Chad Ryland starting off the second half with a deep kick to whoever their return man is. Calvin Austin. Jennings missed... Missed his tackle, that's a shame. Alright, this is one play I do like a lot, mid-blitz. Especially if you can throw your 
strong safety. If you blitz him too, they um, cannot cover it. So you're sacrificing an extra defender, but like you saw... Okay, I think it's Adrian Phillips. I think that's Adrian Phillips. But as you saw there, they did literally... They don't have enough people to block even the six you're sending most of the time. But if you send a seventh guy, you're risking not having a guy covering on defense, but... Okay, Deontay Johnson. Yeah, you're, you're risking sending that seventh guy, but you get so much pressure. Usually it leads to an incomplete pass. Sometimes they get the playoff, and it's a completion, and you get torched, but usually it doesn't happen. Okay, Jelani Taivai, not a great user, as that was a crazy tackle by Dietrich Wise, I think is what that guy's name is. I still don't know everyone's names on this team. I know a lot of the players, mainly because a lot of them are really old people. I think that was White, too. I don't think that was even... Kaiser White, maybe? Oh, and we're getting torched. Phillips and a JC Jackson stop Warren from breaking off an even longer rush. But now we've got to hope that we can stop probably another rush. Nope, it's a pass. And... Phillips is burnt toast. Darnell Washington touchdown. Must have fired Matt Canada in this world too because there's no way they would add that touchdown here. Oh, I felt my controller vibrate. Made me think I was going to get a roughing the kicker, but nope. Alright, second half. Our, obviously our adjustment was to not even an adjustment. We're still trying to run to the outside. Stevenson goes for four. That's what we want. We just want consistent consistent rushes to gain yards. Right. Oh, boy. This play isn't great. We'll see if anyone can burn over top. Juju Smith-Schuster. What a catch. Bailey Zappi's looking elite right now. Just like he does when he plays one good game and then falls off a cliff again. So we'll see if he can do that in game two. We're going to go outside rush. Ramondre. Okay. Six yards. Zappi looking looking okay. Looking solid. You know what? This is a... I feel like we should run this play too. Third and short. Or second and short. Zeke is a power guy. His second rush of the game. I feel like Stevenson's been really effective though, so it's worth keeping Stevenson to these these kind of plays. But now we need our power back, Andre. First down. Averaging six yards per carry, that's very good. I want to get him more yards, and honestly, if they can't stop it, why not? I'm going to try running at TJ Watt again. We'll see if he torches our entire O-line. He does, but we can get past him. And four more as Larry Ogunjobi hurt. That's good for us. One less defender they have, and he does not look happy on the sideline. Makes that big tackle. Third and four. Probably need to throw it here. I'm going to try. I'm going to hope. If he can actually... Okay, he can't hear the play call. I'm going to give him it one more time if he can't hear it. Okay. We're good. We're giving him a zig. Douglas... Fourth and inches. I think. Oh, you're dancing. Okay. We're we're gonna try. QB sneak. Bailey Zappi. Going up against Big Old 96. Whoever 96 is, and he got it. Okay. First down. Bailey Zappi. Um. Well, let's try. I mean, we'll, we'll, just, we'll just keep doing coach's plays to avoid me finding a place to overpower, though I doubt I would. They like to give me the same plays anyway. Zappy, end zone, touchdown, Hunter Henry. You know, with this, with the way this offense is structured, since I had, if, if I'd still had two tight ends, because one of them would be out on the slot, usually tight ends get a lot of targets, but I think that might be one of the first targets I've given the tight ends. All right, time to try stop this very overpowered offense that's definitely not just me being garbage at defense. Hey, look at that. I made a tackle. Adrian Phillips, 
and who is that? JC Jackson team up to make the tackle. You know, as much as it would hurt my morale to lose the rest of the season, I know it's probably smart for us to lose the rest of the season. Oh, throwing a lob to Pickett. Peppers. Great play, Peppers. She probably should have caught that, seeing that the game made it sound like it was in hands. First split second, but I'll let you have a pass. All right. We're going a massive blitz on third and long, and they're going to throw in a completion. That's huge for us. And really, we're just going to go back to what's worked. Halfback stretch. This time, we'll go away from TJ Watt. I've been testing my luck way too much, and they predicted it correctly and went backwards. Well, Mondre almost had a big play, but no. All right, maybe we go to Mario Douglas quickly if he can torch his man. Oh, okay. Go up the field. Zappy. And Zappy put the ball on the ground. Wait, he recovered. He recovered himself. Oh, Bailey, you're scaring me. All right, play I like to do. No safe, no close-up player covering that slot guy. Just going to throw it to him every time. Juju Smith-Schuster, big play. That's a huge play. All right, fourth quarter. We are tied. I, think, I feel like we just kind of go Ramondre. Keep running this game. Oh, Ramondre. Ramondre Stevenson. Five. Ah, oh, one yard short. You really just did that to the man. Give him his touchdown. You got your big man in. He's going to jump over all of them. Mike Jasicki in the backfield. And I lied. TJ Watts, just the greatest player of all time. Viridian Low being out on a pass. I think that's his name. I'm going to guess it's Viridian, like the credit union. We're going to have the, the outside tight end block and fire it to the fullback, which is actually Mike Jasicki. Touchdown. Well, Ramondre didn't get his touchdown. I feel bad because he did all of that drive basically on his own. Juju had a play, and Bailey Zappi kind of did something. He fumbled, covered it himself. But I feel like just scoring is what we need right now because now we have a lead and the Steelers have to try and beat us Kevin Austin doesn't return it so now it's time for Kenny Pickett needing to lead a fourth quarter clutch drive does he have ice in his veins let's find out and okay JC that that that's you should have caught that if we let's let's look at this replay real quick. I could have sworn JC Jackson had that. I even did a play on the ball. Wow, you're just gonna let that just gonna let that go right through your hands. Yep, JC Jackson, I tried blinking a play on the ball to pick it off. It did not work. Probably should have just batted it down. But you know, you gotta make that big play sometimes. Oh, man, Jalen Warren breaks free, and Jalen Warren is gone. We are going to be tied. Pending the extra point, it's a chance I block it, and they're iced. Okay, interesting. Oh, it's my momentum. Wow, the AI made a nice kick. That's crazy. All right, well, we've got a game on our hands. Patriots putting up more points than they ever have in real life. I don't know why I'm still letting Ty Montgomery return kicks either. Because every time I do, he does not get anywhere. All right, it's Ramondre. 101 rushing yards, zero receiving yards. Fantasy football nightmare. Um, okay. Well, we know what we're going to do. Do what, what's been working. Handing it off to Ramondre. They commit left. And Ramondre gets stubbed. Mondre back under 100 yards. He'll, I sincerely hope that he will get over 100 yards again before the end of this game. But I've got to pass. I, I've got to, I've got to trust my man. Whoa, my Hunter Henry. 
There is no way Hunter Henry just made that catch. Wow. Patriots defense looking like them in the 2000s, I guess. Randy Moss, Tom Brady. Oh, and there's no blocking downfield. I forgot I didn't have anybody on that side. Well, I said Stevenson to get back over 100. There he is, back over 100 yards. This is a play I like a lot, too. We'll send Stevenson out right in case no one gets open on the left. And we'll just check down underneath, except Bailey's at it. That's what we should be seeing more with this worse quarterback. I, I'd say worse. He's definitely worse. Um, because Bailey Zappi is not a high overall. Um, he should be missing a ton of these open throws. And almost threw a pick there. Are we in field goal range for Chad Ryland? Nope, it's Bryce Beringer again. Oh, wait. Hold up. I'm calling a timeout. I'm hoping that's not going to hurt me, but I feel like I, I clicked the plays too fast. I feel like I feel like Chad Ryland can make a 60-yarder. With six mile per hour wins, Chad Ryland for the lead. It's up. And it's good. AI didn't trust me. I trusted myself. Coach didn't trust me. I trust myself. Chad Ryland makes a 60-yarder for the lead. You know, I don't know what Chad Ryland's long in real life is. I know, like, there's kickers in the league right now that are starting, like Matt Amendola for the Texans. I don't think he's starting anymore. I think Kaimi Fairbairn's back from injury. But I know Matt Amendola, the longest he'd ever made in his life is a 58-yarder in, like, high school or college. And then they tried make or 56-yarder. And they tried sending him out there for the Jags game, make a 58-yarder for the, for the tie, and he doinked it off the front of the crossbar. I felt so bad as good catch by Robinson. But yeah, Matt Amendola. Shout out to Matt Amendola. Um, all right. So now we're just trying to stop them. They're probably going to pass almost every play. And I tried making a play on the ball again. Darnell Washington, a monster. His four catches have all been for like short yards and he breaks it free, I think. Oh, he had that one touchdown, I guess. Oh, speaking of which, there's check down Merchant. Can he pick it? Can you throw it downfield again? I want to pick you off. Jabril Peppers just waiting for that intercept. In fact, I'm going to move Jabril Peppers up because I think it's going to be a rush. And look at that read. Let's go. Jabril Peppers got there immediately. And now he's getting chippy with Jalen Warren. All right, I don't think sending a blitz here is going to be smart. Maybe I send Duggar only, but Duggar's... What is this play call? Oh, my. Allen Robinson. The way they're moving down the field does not look good for me. Two-minute warning. Please don't score a touchdown. Because obviously I just wasted one of my timeouts to call that. So that leaves me one less timeout than I would have had. If they would have just trust me with that field goal anyway. Alright, we need Kyle Duggar. Oh, if only that were inbounds, that'd be a pick. JC Jackson again. But yeah, I feel like a lot of these players are older, so they're probably not going to be coming back because this team is definitely rebuilding. Kyle Duggar, he's a free agent at the end of this year. He's someone I want to keep as Deontay Johnson mosses me again. I need to go for more pass deflection instead of interception unless it's like wide open like that. But yeah, a lot of this team is older. Kyle Duggar, I think it's like 26, 27, but he's he's one of those like big guys that I kind of want to keep on the team. Oh, we could have picked that. Who's that? Bryant? Oh, that's another random guy. Probably signed to like a five three deal. Jelani Taivai, I believe, is a free agent. We're not going to have him at the end of this year. Oh. Jonathan Jones, you almost had a pick right there. That could have gone for six. All right, third and long. Game on the line. They'll make the field goal, I guess, for the tie, but the win on the line. Please stop him, and nope. And we let Pickens get out of Oh, no, he stayed in bounds. Yeah, just keep letting the clock run, guys. I don't know why I keep calling the same play. 
It's clearly not working. Man coverage especially. Oh, screen pass. What in the world? I ha I was there with Duggar. Duggar got in an animation like he was going to bat the ball down. Even though I think I was clicking Y, which would have been go for a pick. So, buggy animation. We got screwed. Jelani Taivai just missed an interception too. Marley Mapu, told you putting him in the slot was going to be a big thing. Made a huge play. Third and one. They might honestly run the ball. I would here. Since I only need one yard and then I can just call a timeout. But the Pickett's going end zone. There's a flag. No. What are we calling that? Unnecessary roughness on what? What was that on? Oh, my. And Darnell Washington has a touchdown. I got an unnecessary roughness penalty on something. I, I mean, I don't even know what I did. Chris Boswell makes the extra point. All right, 32 seconds. Bailey Zappi. I could obviously throw the game. Jalen Rager on a streak, maybe. And Jalen Rager, or and Demario Douglas got smoked. All right, I might just try going up seam. Up seams, like put Juju here. Right here. Maybe Minka, if he moves left at all, I'm firing it right to him. There we go. Juju, big play. Huge play. I'm calling my first time out. I've got to save this other one for my last Hail Mary. Four verts now. Hunter Henry, I'm actually putting you on a vert. And Zappi had a man in his face. Big surprise, it was TJ Watt. Um, oh boy, this is not a great play. Maybe I go like that. Douglas incomplete. I've been targeting Douglas a lot. So I know Douglas can get open. He's got more speed than the rest of my guys. Come on, Juju. Listen to my play call. I'm going Zeke underneath. Juju on us. Me and Juju can't hear me. Juju. Huge play. Timeout. What a play. Bailey Zappi. All right, we're going four verts. Hunter Henry on a streak. He's going to be open. Do we go for the win? Yes. Henry. I uh, waited too. I shot it too early. Bailey Zappi's having an immaculate game, by the way. All right. Maybe Stevenson on a streak. That's not the kind of play I want, but Juju. Touchdown. We have the lead with one second left. Juju Smith-Schuster. TikTok boy. Chiefs legend. Chiefs, is, Chiefs are my favorite team. He, he didn't do bad wins with the Chiefs, but um, yeah. So I'm not giving him. I'm, I, I'm making him have to return. I'm squib kicking this. Chad Ryland, you got this. Someone make a tackle. Someone make a tackle. Well, that, there's one way to throw a game. Patrick Peterson just won the game for the Steelers. And we go down in heartbreaking fashion to a squib kick. Let's look at the stats. Bailey Zappi played amazing. 346 yards, four touchdowns. Pickett, 273 yards, three touchdowns, and that one interception. Rushing, Jalen Warren torched us, 17 yards per carry, and a touchdown, 136 yards. Ramondre Stevenson did great, 102 and six for six yards per carry. Bailey Zappi, eight yards. He also fumbled, which he recovered. And Zeke had two rushes for five yards. 
Juju Smith-Schuster, 167 yards in that touchdown, which almost won us the game. Hunter Henry, 96 in a touchdown. Uh, Demario Douglas had 76 yards. Great game by him. Mike Jasicki, three yards in a touchdown. Devontae Parker, only t two targets, uh, had a touchdown. Uh, no sacks, I don't think, at all the entire game. Tackle leaders, Kyle Duggar, Adrian Phillips, both had five. Jelani Tyvai, Jawan Bentley, Jonathan Jones each had four. Tackle for loss, Chipro Peppers, yeah, no sacks. JC Jackson with that clutch interception that almost won us the game. Pass deflections, Marley Mapu, whose picture is bugged, by the way. If you look at his name, there's not supposed to be that white box behind him. Uh, Adrian Phillips, who was I saying? Not Jalen Phillips, Jalen Phillips is on the Dolphins. Yeah, Adrian Phillips, Devontae Parker, somehow... And Jabril Peppers, all at pass deflections. No forced fumbles. No safeties, no touchdowns. Uh, and then kick returns. Pain. Yeah, great game. Bailey Zappi played like I should start him every week. So maybe I do start him every week. We'll see how I feel a couple weeks. If he starts to not perform well which he's playing the Chiefs defense next week. We'll see how that goes. Um, okay, Cole Strange, Jack Jones, both got upgrades. Great. Um, yeah, so heartbreaking loss. Didn't turn the ball over a single time. And we still lose. So we'll sim the next week. Um, maybe Bailey Zappi got player of the week. Oh, he actually did. And we have a breakout receiver. But I'm going to save that for next episode. I'm going to guess it was probably um, the main... Oh, wait, what? Carolina is choking the way their, uh, their number one pick privileges. for, Or I guess the Bears' number one pick. Currently, the Cardinals only have one win. So we're in the spot for the two, number two overall pick right now. But... Really quick, we'll quickly look at the guys we need to re-sign. Mike Onwenu, I'm going to sign right now. Get get a deal done for our star right tackle. It's a great deal. I'm not saying yes right now. Well, then I'm at least going to re-sign Kyle Duggar. Three years. I'll give you a better offer than what you want. I, I like having Kyle Duggar here for the long term. All these other guys, maybe I don't bring back. Uche probably hates us. I'm going to wait till, to re-sign most of these guys till the end of the year. Um, but yeah, all... Three of our quarterbacks we have on the roster right now, Mac Jones, Will Greer, and uh, Bailey Zappi all have things to do. Mac Jones is just accepting his fifth year option, which is really expensive, and I'm not going to accept it. But yeah, so breakout wide receiver, um, and I will adjust the gameplay sliders really quick. So quarterback accuracy, I'm going to lower that by a decent amount. Pass blocking, I didn't have a lot of pressure. Catching, wide receivers caught a lot, so I'll lower that. Run blocking, I'll lower that a decent amount. Ball security, I don't think that one's as important. Pass defense, we played very good defense. Intercepts are lower by a couple. Pass coverage, tackling, I'm not going to lower by a lot because we did not tackle well. Their quarterback accuracy, Pickett was missing throws, but that's expected. We didn't get a lot of pass block or pass rush, so we won't do that. They dropped a lot of passes, so I'm going to bump theirs up by five. Run blocking up by three. Defensive up by a decent amount. Uh, pass coverage will up a bit. And interceptions will leave at 50 for now. I also like to move up field goal power too because you get like people like Justin Tucker. I'd use him and he would miss 70 or it's not 70, 60 yard field goals, which he does not do. I might also adjust some of these penalties because you normally in real life you see a lot of penalties, but you never see them in the game. So I might up those a little bit. But yeah, so guys, if you enjoyed this Madden video, leave a like and subscribe. Um, and I'll, I'll, I'll keep making more of these videos. I like playing Madden. It's fun. If it starts, if I start winning a lot, which I definitely won't with the roster I have right now, especially after adjusting these, uh, I might stop and maybe make a new franchise. But um, yeah, for now, if you liked uh, the video, like and subscribe. And I will see you guys uh, next time.